What's going on everybody? I'm JVB with the Postgame Report and I have something a little different for you guys. So here is what I use to make trades. Now I'm not a broker or anything like that, so I use Ameritrade. So I was looking at something really interesting and let me take you to, to the Take Two Interactive Stocks. So as you can see, per share, right this is to buy one share of take two interactive it's hundred and seventy one dollars and thirty three cents a friend of mine who I met at my son's school he's a you know my son's one of my son's very best friends he's a broker and he used to bother me because I, I would always wear video game t-shirts or like Star Wars t-shirts whatever and he used to tell me yo and one day actually he saw me with a Red Dead Redemption shirt and he goes you play it I said yes he goes, why don't you buy the stock? And at the time, it was about $90 per share. So now it's at $171. So if I had bought the stock about four years ago, I would have been uh, really, really happy about that. Regardless, I, I do have stock in Take Two and I have some uh, profit. So anyway, here's what I wanna show you guys. So we can see it says video game earnings mostly upbeat ETFs in focus so ETF space basically is a bunch of stocks put together by a separate firm and they'll sell you shares of that stock and so technically you own pieces of a number of stocks under that portfolio now it it's more costly to buy these stocks individually because you know the fact is when you buy an individual stock let's say EA you own a piece of that company same thing would take two interactive so I didn't even know that there were video game ETFs I had no freaking idea so I decided to check them out and make a video so that you guys can see what I mean by having your money work for you you know what I mean uh, try to give you guys something different but still related to video games try to help you guys out so let me see how much this cost per share so it's twenty five dollars and seventy three cents now as I stated there is a portfolio of different companies under this particular ETF so a year ago you could have gotten this for fifteen under fifteen dollars right now it's at $25 so you would have made a $10 profit now here dividends annual dividends so that simply means let's say I was to open a company and I decided to put my company public and put a million stocks out there to be bought and then I tell you hey if you buy a stock at the end of the year, I'm gonna give you a dollar for every stock that you own. And then I, I'll tell you, hey, I'll split that dollar every month. Uh, or, you know, it, I'll give you a dollar annually, but it will be split either monthly or quarterly or annually. So you can use that dollar to either put back into your shares and continue to accumulate more shares of course it's going to take you a while because you have $25 and then here you have two cents right barely barely three cents so you have to buy a shitload of these in order to get a nice annual dividend but let's look at the portfolio under here you see that you have Nvidia you have Activision, you have Take Two, you have EA, and you have Zynga. Zynga right now sells for nine dollars and twenty-four cents. EA, one hundred and forty-one dollars. Take Two, one seventy-one. Blizzard, eighty-one dollars. Nvidia, which I have, is selling at four hundred and fifty-eight dollars. Now, why is Nvidia so expensive? Well, it's a tech company and tech right now is doing really really well but look at the annual dividend it's only 64 cents but it's way more 
62 cents more per year. Let's look at another company that I have. Uh, let's see, I have Sony and the dividends. It's a cheaper uh, stock per share. Annual dividends, 41 cents. And McDonald's, I have McDonald's. I'm trying not to show you my stuff. I don't want you to see my stuff, but $5 per year. So let's say you decided to buy 1,000 shares of McDonald's. <laughs> At the end of the of the end of the year, excuse me, I'm like stuttering here. You are guaranteed five dollars per share annually. So that's a lot of money. <laughs> I mean, you spend a lot of money, but you're also going to get dividends, and that's like a reward from the company. So, investing in video games is a really good idea especially for those of us who want to get into the next generation and might have been hoping to get an Xbox Series X on day one, but might decide to wait a little bit. You could use that money or half of the money that you were willing to spend and invest. And then guess what? You can take out whatever profits you make or you can leave them in there and just let it accumulate so that you never know, right? I had I had bought take two at less than this, but I still waited too long. I should have bought it at $90. Let's check out the other one, ESPO. So let's say you do buy, let's say you take $1,000. That's how my wife and I started. Actually, we started out with 500 and eventually worked our way up. So let's say you invest and you start getting wise you go to youtube you read some books and you learn about dividends you learn about high risk and low risk and i, I still don't use options but you can make a lot of money with options so and here's espo dividends about eight cents so you're not really getting nothing but under the portfolio you have take two ea activision nvidia and amd i also have amd I know Derek God has gotten pissed off because he could have put $2,000 worth of A&D years ago at about, what, $12, I think he said. So imagine the profit he would have had right now. I hate to rub it into your, in your face, uh, Derek. Sorry about that. So the market's volatile, of course, but you can spend your money on, on bad food, on a bad game, or a shitty console. It all, we never know, right? I mean, the only things we know for sure that we're going to spend money on are bills. But after that, we don't know what the hell we're going to spend our money on. We might save up for a console. So we know we're going to spend money on that eventually. Or we might save money for years and then all of a sudden spend it on a freaking $3,000 camera. Well, $4,000. That's what I do. But yeah, so... Our spending habits are a little off, especially me. And I've gotten better with it, and I've learned the value of of building a foundation so that you have a better quality of life. And a better quality of life to me means more than having a seven-figure job. Might sound funny, but travel outside the country and you see how people are living and how happy they are with having what they have, not hoping to have more and that's the problem with us we see all the freaking glamour and glitz and unfortunately a lot of us are like man I, I need those new pair of sneakers or I need that new gear or I need that new camera and in reality we don't <laughs> we don't so what we do need is to be smart with our money and let that sucker money in this situation do something for us and so when you invest you have an opportunity that this 5845 right here can one day become 10845 and imagine if you invested and bought 10 shares of these and then you throw in the annual dividends and sometimes when the when the stock price gets better the dividends goes up so there's a lot of possibilities so this is just something a little different. I know a lot of people love to make drama 
and they love to post a lot of shit. They love to lie to your face and say Halo Infinite looked great. I know some of you had a good time listening to me get pissed off about that one. But this is what I've been doing. I'm putting my money where my mouth is. So when people talk shit and say that I'm a, a Sony guy, I just tell them that, hey, I got Microsoft stock. I have Sony stock. I have Nintendo stock. Take two, NVIDIA, AMD. I even bought stock for a company that does heptic feedback. So I'm putting mo money where my mouth is and I am investing in a hobby that I love. So where can I go wrong, right? So you guys let me know. Let me know in the comment section if you invest and game at the same time and what you're investing in. And if you have anything you can share that I've spoken on, please let me let me know because I'm not an expert, but it doesn't hurt for me to share some advice that maybe we could get one of you guys on the right track and hey, you could be schooling me on, on what to do and telling me what to invest in. So until next time, I'm JVB. I'll talk to you guys soon. Later.